is a busman's holiday for them to have to come here and other politicians speak. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not a joke, folks. I appreciate it. I genuinely appreciate it. I appreciate it. And uh, and I know they wanted to be here, uh, but uh, there's others who are in Washington who can't be here. Dick Durbin and Tammy, who I've both spoken to, they, they're in Washington and hopefully, hopefully will be voting soon. And also, we've got state leadership here. Lieutenant Governor Julius here, Stratton, and the Ohio, Pennsylvania, the Ohio, Pennsylvania, I'm from Pennsylvania, the, the, the Illinois president uh, of the, uh, Don Harmon, State Senator Laura Murphy, State Rep. Uh, um, Martin Mo- uh, Mo- Moylan, and uh, we've got great labor leaders here, too. Tim, where's Tim? There you go, Tim. Thank you. Thank you, pal. AFL-CIO State President, and Jeff Isaacson, United Brotherhood of Carpenters, and uh, Don Finn, IBW, uh, and uh, and Robert Reiter, Reiter, R-E-I-T-E-R, Reiter, Chicago Federation of Labor. And folks, uh, that's how we beat COVID-19, by working together. We have an expression in that little town of Claymont I was from. Uh, you all brung me to the dance, Labor. You're the, you're the reason I'm standing here. Not a joke. Not a joke. I can look and I was 29 years old to the United States Senate, 17 days before I was eligible to be sworn in. I had to wait around to be sworn in, not a joke as well. And uh, I won by 3,300 votes and labor. Labor, including the police unions as well as the firefighters, stood up and endorsed me. And because I, I kid with the governor, I said I grew up in a town called Claymont, Delaware from third grade on. I went to a little Catholic school called Holy Rosary.